Hey everybody, Day Forehand Dallas R. Reedham. I'm in Earth Cycles here at Rory Myers' Children's Adventure Garden, and I wanted you to take a look at this beautiful Cycus Revoluta, or just it's called a, a, a cycad. And uh, it's getting a new big spur to grow. It's not an actual palm. A lot of people think it's some type of palm. It's an ancient plant. It's called, it's in the cycad family, but uh, uh, these do pretty well for us. You'll see people say, oh, be careful. They are, they're prone to freezing. If you plant these in your yard, you're going to have to wrap them if it gets cold. Well, we've had good luck here. We're somewhat protected here in the, in the Arboretum by the, by the lake. But the coldest winters that I've experienced here, and I've been here 20 years, uh, they might burn all the leaves off, but it'll sprout in the spring a whole new set and continue to fill in. Of course, with this past year, we had such a mild winter, we didn't have any kind of cold damage. But it's a gorgeous plant. The only uh, real word of caution with having a cycad in your backyard is they're very, very uh, toxic for dogs. If you have a pet that likes to chew on things, you definitely don't want this because it actually could uh, uh, kill them if they chewed on it to any extent. But that's the only uh, downside to having one would be that. But otherwise, they're beautiful. People like this tropical look in the yard, and the cycad's one of the ways to do that without having something that's too big. So uh, don't be afraid to try these at home, and uh, I think you'd enjoy seeing it. You also have them in containers. Some people like to do that in a big round barrel type container. That way you can move them around, or you could actually even roll them in if we're gonna have some super epic cold event. But uh, from my experience, they do come back after the cold. So again, it's something you might wanna try here. You can come see them at the Dallas Arboretum. I'm Dave Forehand. See you real soon.